Okay, so right now we're building some muskrat floats. This is what I've got going for them right here. Um, these two will be keeping it afloat and then this is where you'll set your traps. I'm aiming to have two traps on here, be able to fit two number one and a halfs. Maybe we'll, we won't have enough traps and we'll end up just putting one on there and like blocking the other side off, who knows. But here, I'm going to show you how to build one of these. 18 inches. I didn't measure the other ones, I just went with it. But we've just got, I don't know, like this post here. It's four and a half by three and a half. So just got that going right here. It should float pretty good. It ain't exactly an exact science, so we're just going to cut it with the miter saw and cut two lengths of it and then screw them together or nail them together with little boards on the, in the center. <laughs> Okay, let me get you guys readjusted, and then we'll start putting these together. Okay, so right here we've got um, two 20-inch long boards. They're not sure how wide they are. Um, probably about five inches wide or so. And all we're going to do is, there's this little ridge right here. We're going to take them and... Put them right to that edge, and then I'm gonna grab my traps and just to double check that they fit there how I want them to. And that's pretty good. It's spacious. These ones were too short. Um, yeah, those should work. So then I'm just going to nail them in here quick and then just put a few nails, however many you feel that you need, in each side. So yeah, I'm going to finish nailing these on. It'll be just like that. Scooch them all the way to the ends of these. And then, yeah, turn you back on when I got her made. That's what she looks like. Thanks for watching. Okay, so right here we've got, got them nailed on. Three or four nails in each board. And then this is how she'll sit in the water. You'll have, run a stick down through the middle, down into the mud to hold it. Oh, and then I should put some, like, hooks or something on the bottom of here to maybe just bend some nails over to hold the traps on. Yeah, just bend some nails over and then wire the traps on to them. So, we'll do that too. We'll put it on the side, actually, right here, so that it's not, um... So that we can stack them nice so we'll do that and then we'll just be able to wire our traps to it and she said should sit pretty good in the water that other one over there it's kind of scraggly but um yeah thanks for watching everybody i'm just going to bend some nails over in the side here no big deal um use a hook whatever the heck you want um but yeah then you'll just put a stick in the center and then like wire your bait or whatever to there, I believe. 
yeah, I'll have to look back on some old videos and make sure. But we'll see that come trapping season. Put some carrots or apples up on there. And then we'll also be running 110s. Um, we'll be running the 110s pretty good with carrots and apples on them too. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video or maybe you learned something. Have a good day.